You'll find one of the best teams in this sport right here in the Susquehanna Valley. A little volleyball we're talking about. And these guys don't know what it is like to lose. They just haven't done it this year. Their jerseys don't have bullseyes on them, but they might as well. Hempfield's boys volleyball team has been ranked number one in the state all season long. Last night, the Black Knights opened district play against Spring Grove, and Hempfield showed why it hasn't been beaten this year. The Knights clubbed the Rockets 15-1, 15-3 to move on to the next round. Hempfield is 56-0-1 this season and is following in the footsteps of other teams that won three state titles during the 90s. We are Hempfield, and I gotta say that we've had that pressure for like so many years straight now. I mean, our decade this year, we know how to play with that pressure, and we know the number one. Those rankings to me don't mean don't mean much at all. I mean, it all depends who gets Shippensburg first and how you play there. Talented team, like 94, 97, they had six, seven guys. But this year, we have 12. We can bring in any time. They've been waiting for the the last two weeks of this season for a year, and uh, if they stay focused. Would be good. Knights next round of districts tomorrow night. Day two of the Ray Lewis. The number one ranked boys volleyball team in the state in action today. And they're playing a little basketball between timeouts here. But it's the Hempfield Black Knights. They're in red, the right side of your screen. This is match point against Maplewood, last year's state champions. Black Knights knocked out in the semifinals last year. And they are moving on to the semifinals thanks to plays like this one. They think they got it, and then they finish the job. Right here, Hempfield stays unbeaten, gives Maplewood their first loss of the season. And they could play for a state championship tomorrow. You're watching Fox 43 News at 10 with Todd Sadowski Sports Report. Hempfield's boys volleyball team gets off to a good start today with a victory in the state semifinals over Upper St. Clair, keeping their perfect season intact. And that brings us to the moment the Black Knights have been working for the state championship match. Their ranking first in the state, their official record 28 and 0 with tournaments an astounding 58 and 0. All those numbers would look even better with a state title to cap off the year. Hempfield drops game one against Mount Lebanon. So coach Mike Vogel gives the Knights a pep talk and it works. Black Knights take control of game two. The big spike coming up here after he's set up by Tony Spangler. It gives Hempfield a 13 to eight lead. Then it's Spangler again. This time sets up with the net with a block. Hempfield wins game two, 15, eight. The final game, tooth and nail back and forth. This is match point for Hempfield. And the Black Knights on the right side will set up senior Ben Murray with the set. And this is for the state championship, one of 26 kills for Murray. And Hempfield does it. It is their second state championship in five years. They are the 2001 state champs. Uh, great season. You know, last year, last year was sort of a heartbreaker. The last match we lost here. A quarter of those guys played on that team last year, and so they remembered. During that one time out, we came and he's like, you guys, this is your last game you ever want to play in high school. And we just came out with a sense of urgency and we did what we did. Congrats to the Black Knights for a remarkable year. We'll have more on Hempfield State Champions tomorrow night on Sunday Sports Live. Hempfield's girls soccer team still alive in the playoffs. A the Hempfield High boys volleyball team had not lost a match all season long. This morning, the Black Knights advanced to the state championship match. Mount Lebanon High was all that stood between Hempfield and an undefeated state championship season. Hempfield defeated uh, Maplewood in the morning semifinal, so we go on to the championship match. Hempfield dropped the opening game 15-12, but came back to win the second one big time 15-8. In the final game, Hempfield scored the final four points to win it. Here's the championship match. Ben Murray with a big spike. And Hempfield wins its third state title in the last six seasons. Coach, this one is really special. You know, it's because this is my first one as the head coach of Hempfield. Uh, it's a great feeling. You know, I wish everybody could have this feeling. It's just a fantastic feeling. No, I don't think it's soaked in yet. I mean, it's pretty amazing. Usually teams don't do that. We've won every tour. Just... I think we deserved it. We played hard. I think we practiced harder than everybody else. We just deserved it, I think. All of us, every single one of us on the team have been working hard all year. It's just almost been expected. From the beginning, I knew that we were going to pull it out. 
This is Hempfield's first title since winning back-to-back -back championships in 1996 and 1997. It will all come down to one game. How this youthful high school volleyball team plans to dig up more state championship gold. Sports is next. Toyota Racing players graduated from Hempfield's 2001 undefeated state championship team. This year's boys volleyball squad has no seniors at all, and they still haven't lost a match. Fox 43's Todd Sadowski tells us how the Black Knights are staying on top of their game. Following the footsteps of last year's state championship team is forcing this year's squad to grow up fast, which is good because these guys are young. Four juniors, two that play constantly, and then we have six or seven sophomores. That makes up our varsity team. Almost every team Hemfield faces is older and taller. Tonight's opponent, Penn Manor, is no exception. But the Black Knights enter the contest with 18 wins, one tie, and zero losses. It's amazing what these young guys are accomplishing. When you get out there, sometimes it looks a little uneven size-wise, but um, we just have to play our game and not theirs, which is more defense and serving rather than power and blocking as other teams do. We just get kids that like the sport. And once they, they come out and they try volleyball, they find out, hey, this is fun. And that's who we get. And we just get kids that just want to be here at practice all the time. And after we get them here, they work their tail off. Even though most of the Black Knights are in the 10th grade, their approach to each game is wise beyond their years. We just try to have fun and see how far we can go just by supporting each other and playing our best each match, just taking one at a time. They're getting very good at taking matches. Tonight's victory over the Comets is the program's 79th straight without a loss. In Landisville, Lancaster County, Todd Sadowski, Fox 43 Sports. And Hemfield defeated Penn Manor tonight in straight sets, 15-6 and 15-3, well on their way to another state title. Let's go to the NBA. This the Comets can't get the ball back over the net, and the Black Knights win game 115-6. Hemfield then trying to close out game two. This is Luke Murray serving. The Comets here will set up the spike, but watch, there's nobody there. Hemfield sweeps Penn Manor, 15-6, 15-3. Team in the Susquehanna Valley. Pat Principe says Hemfield's volleyball team is adding a new weapon to its arsenal this season. How does that line go again? Uneasy, lies the head, but where's the crown? No such problem at Hempfield, where with every player returning, the two-time defending state champs are cruising down the road to a three-peat. The most pressure that we have is their practice playing against ourselves. And that's the most fun we have, and that's sometimes the most competition that we have. It's hard to believe that a program that has won five state championships in nine years could possibly get any stronger, but guess what? Inside this room here, Hempfield is doing just that. The Knights are hitting the weight. It's the first time ever the entire team has pumped iron on a regular basis. Yeah, I think you need an edge every year. You have to come up with something. You have to come up with something that your opponent isn't doing. And uh, this year it's weightlifting. The stronger you are, the harder you can hit the ball. And it helps with uh, having uh, control of the ball. And that's a big thing in volleyball. I've only been lifting for like two months. And I can, already, I can definitely see a difference in my hitting on the court. So I think it'll do, it'll do a lot for the team, actually. Lifting could get Hempfield a big lift come tournament time, especially since the state quarterfinals, semis, and finals will all be played in one day this year. When you get to states and you're playing a lot of matches within two days, you're going to get fatigued. And I think with weightlifting, we'll just have just like the extra extra muscle strength to be able to get through. Atlantis for Our Toyota High School executive year. All right, thanks, Pat. Affirm the last to do it back in 1978. Have a safe trip back from Belmont. Take care, Pat. Well, another heavy favorite in action Saturday. The Hempfield Black Knights going for a fourth straight state title. It's the Boys Volleyball Championship, Pensbury. The last hurdle for Hempfield. First game, Gary Vogel coming up large. He's in Vogel. The block and the slam. Black Knights take the first game 25 to 14. They win the second 25-18. Now championship point, Jay Stoffer and Luke Murray. Like a sweet Oreo, it's a double stuff. Game three goes 25-19 Hempfield, a fourth straight state championship. All those guys know how to do is win the state title. It's their seventh ever at Hempfield. Great, thanks Pete. 
You'll find one of the best teams in this sport right here in the Susquehanna Valley. A little volleyball.